That confidence does not extend to New York State's farmers, who in some cases lost their entire harvest as well as infrastructure. We need the cleanup, we need the uh, restoration damage that was done to buildings and, and things like that. That's kind of the first phase of it. According to Assemblyman Pete Lopez, whose sprawling district encompasses six counties in crisis, the state's congressional delegation, including Kirsten Gillibrand, Chris Gibson, and Paul Tonko, is looking at alternative methods of assistance, like retroactive flood insurance for homeowners, whereby a homeowner who had no insurance could retroactively pay premiums. Another idea, retroactive crop insurance. There are the emergency assistance programs that the United States Department of Agriculture and we're going to try and leverage however we can uh, the maximum support for our farmers. Elected officials are also attempting to tweak the rules around community block grants to allow localities to help farms and businesses. And the Farm Bureau and FarmNet at Cornell are organizing a clearinghouse for non-traditional offers of agricultural assistance, like barn reconstruction services from an Amish community. At the Capitol in Albany, I'm Susan Arbetter.